thank you so much for tuning in welcome back to my youtube channel this is grace with the great you remember i film about faith and i inspire people to be more productive i know i know i know it's been a while since i was on here thank you so much for everyone who checked up on me who sent you know messages who gave me calls just ask how i was faring and um, yeah everything is fine uh, I, I am back that is really what matters i am back Love. So today we're going to be discussing something very important. As you all know, what I do on here is to help you make the right decisions in life. I share thoughts, you know, I share inspiring words. Hopefully these words should help you make the right decisions in life. Today we're talking about riches, honor, and life. Riches, honor, and life. Now this is very important and also very, very important easy to achieve according to the word of God. So as we all know, I'm going to be picking just a few scriptures from the Bible just to further buttress my point. As an opening remark, we need to be careful about our attitude. What sort of attitude do you have? What is your behavior towards others? Do you have a listening ear? you know are you receptive to what people have to say or are you that type of person who easily locks up and you're very rigid and once you've made up your mind on something that is the way everyone has to take it okay what what how do you see life what is your attitude towards life and towards other people it matters a whole lot i'm saying this because i'm on a whatsapp group chat and yesterday there was a little you know something happened yesterday so we have a friend who just lost her dad right so at this moment everyone is contributing and you know sending words of encouragement words of condolences and there's one guy who just came up to say oh wow he loves how much you know we're standing as one um, at this point for our friend he loves how much we've been encouraging even financially i believe she's raised over two hundred thousand already at this point and he's like oh wow this is great we should keep up the good work and he ended his message by you know just quoting a scripture he didn't even quote it he just put hebrews i think hebrews chapter 2 or something verse 8 something like that he just put hebrews and someone came all upset saying what does hebrews have to do with this now if you want to wish her well wish her well please we should mind our words on this group chat and i read that chat and my spirit was so angered i couldn't believe someone would be so irritated by the bible Funny enough, this guy didn't even quote the scripture. He just put a text, you know, a reference. And this other guy was so, and I don't, I don't know the other guy who was angry. So I just politely came on the chat. Mind you, this is my first time in over a year actually posting on this group chat because, yeah, most of these chats, I just read stuff. I never really respond or react. And I came up saying, I think his message had over 19 lines, okay? And it was literally the last line where you had Hebrew. And... This guy came up, you know, back on me saying I have no right to think for him or to tell him what he should focus on on a message. He just, you know, pinpointed what he saw and what he thought at that point. And I told him I'm not thinking for you. I just asked the question, right? I, I just wanted to clarify something. And it's like I don't have the right to ask him a question either. Long story short, this guy proved to me and to, you know, every other person who read the chat that he feels his, what he wants should be final. The way he sees life should be final and that is not it you live in a community you know particularly that group chat has no um no rules and regulations we're all posting whatever we want whatever we feel we should say and there are no like strict rules it's not a situation where only admins post a lot rushed in my mind and i couldn't believe someone would be so angry at the word of god these things give you life the word of god is life it is spirit and it is truth. So when I see someone who is angry at these things, it gets me upset as well. So, so that happened yesterday and it further buttressed, you know, it is further buttressing my point about today. Your attitude towards others matter a lot. First scripture for the day is Proverbs chapter 22 verse 4. And it says, humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches honor and life humility is the fear of the lord the fact you fear god shows humility 
Again, fear here does not mean to be afraid and to be scared of him. To fear him means to reverence him. It means to honor him. It means to put him on that seat of priority in your life. Do you fear God? Do you respect God? Do you realize that he is sovereign? He has the final authority and decision over your life. Do you realize that there is actually a supreme being who is the ancient of days and at the end of the day your life is like a vapor my life our lives it's really just a matter of time and we're gone but whilst you're here on earth do you fear god the bible says that humility is the fear of the lord which means to fear god proves that a man is humble okay and this will give you riches it will give you honor it will give you life honor before kings honor before men okay it will give you riches yes you want to think of financial abundance you want to think of wealth it will give you riches because once you find yourself um, humble before God you would be humble towards other men as well you'd be humble no matter the situation that comes your way humility is the fear of God and this would produce riches it will produce honor it will produce life so are you in search of true riches do you want to be wealthy wealthy not to show off okay wealthy not to prove a point to that person you know wealthy because you need wealth to advance the kingdom of God are you in search of riches are you in search of honor are you in search of life the Bible says that the more humble you are your days on earth will be extended hallelujah doesn't this sound so easy and so appealing these things are not so far they're not far we have them at our fingertips but are you willing to pay the price of humility the second verse we're reading today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 23 and it says pride brings a person low but the lowly in spirit shall gain honor straight to the point there is no place for pride in the life of a Christian. If you say you're a Christian, you're a child of God, you're serving the Most High God, you know, you want to live like God, then there is no space for pride. Because as a matter of fact, pride brings you low. Pride brings you low. There is no space for pride. Say no to pride. You know, intentionally, consciously reject pride. You should never get to a situation in your life where you feel you've gotten it all. And yes, you're seated on that throne where you have everything, intelligence, beauty, you're comfortable. Pride brings a person low. Pride brings a person low. You would very soon come crashing. You would very, very soon come realizing, I'm all by myself in this world. Because the more proud you are, you're actually chasing away people. If you're a proud person and you feel you have people around you who obey you, who do what you say. To be honest, they're there because they're actually scared of you. They're not doing it out of genuine love or attraction or respect. They're doing it because, oh, we need to survive as well, right? And if I go to this guy or this lady, they're going to help me with what I want. So if you're a proud person, chances are that you lose friends, you lose families, you lose good counsel and advice because you, you push these things away from your life. That is what pride does. Pride brings a person low. But a lowly in spirit will gain honor. Do we see what is happening here? Do we, do we see the relationship between humility and honor? The Bible says that a humble man will gain honor. You will gain honor. You will be respected. Imagine having everything, being very comfortable, having every reason to thank God, and even in the midst of that, you are humble. People would, would honor you. Men will honor you. Amen. You will be honored. You will be honored. A Christian who understands stewardship would not be proud. If you're a child of God and you understand that on this earth you're a steward, everything you own today is just going through you and should go to someone else. Everything you own today was given to you by God. Once you understand the, your role as a steward, it kicks away pride. It kicks away pride. You find yourself living such a humble life. You find yourself attracting honor. 
you find yourself extending your days on amen amen the last verse we're reading before we leave today is romans chapter 12 verse 16 and the bible says live in harmony with one another do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position. Be willing. Are you willing to associate with people of low position? Or do you feel, no, I'd rather stay where I am, you know, no. Be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. To be conceited means to think highly of yourself. To be the one blowing your own trumpet. To think wisely of yourself. Oh, you're the wise one. You know, you're always top five in the class. In your family, everyone comes to you before they make a decision. Yeah, when that starts to creep in, it becomes a huge problem. Because then pride starts to settle in your heart. I did a similar video actually same time last year. Now that I think of it, talking about pride as well. And how... Pride comes before a fall. I'm going to attach that video somewhere here. Make sure to watch it if you've not. But these things are so important and we should constantly remind ourselves. But today I'm telling us that a humble man, a man with a humble spirit, would attract riches. You will attract honor. And you will extend your days on earth, living in peace and living in harmony. Amen and amen. In everything you do, do not be proud. Learn to love men with the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He loved the world. He loved the world. He created men differently, but he loved them all the same. How much do you love your neighbor? How much do you love your spouse? How much do you love your siblings? Yeah, that person at work who recently reported you for something you didn't, you know, commit. How much do you love people around you? Have you decided to, to grade them? Okay, I can love you because you're my husband. I can love you because you're my mom. Though last month you kind of pissed me off, but you're my mom. But you, no, don't come close. You know, do you partition people like that in your heart? By the time you actually have time to do that, ah, there is so much you'd be missing out of in this great kingdom where we belong. There is so much. By the time you have the time, yeah, you actually have the time to partition people like that, to segment them and to focus on what they did, what they didn't do. There is so much you're losing out of. There is no time. We have more urgent things to do. But I urge you today to live a humble life. Just, just give it a try. Live a humble life. Be conscious about this. Live a humble life. And the Lord strengthen you as you do. So thank you so much for watching up until this end. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like. Just give it a thumbs up before you leave. And um, yeah, check out other videos on the channel. If you like them, kindly, kindly subscribe. Until I see you again, I wish you a very, very, very lovely day. Bye.